Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. And I'm Dennis Owens. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hundreds of nursing home workers are back on the job after seven days on the picket line. Union members approved their new contract over the weekend. The union says this deal ends the longest nursing strike in the state's history. Here's ABC 27 senior investigator Kendra Nichols. The union says this is not only a big win for staff, but for the residents at these facilities, saying this will lead to stability and better care. After months of negotiations and a seven day strike, more than 2000 nursing home workers have a new contract. At this point, everyone is uh, back to work. This deal will affect these five facilities in the mid-state. All of them are owned by Priority Healthcare. We've made huge progress. The SEIU says the contract includes four major accomplishments. Significant wage increases and wage scales. Better health care for workers. It will also introduce staffing to patient ratios. So what you'll see is over the two-year implementation, we are going to get to one caregiver on day shift to no more than 10 residents. Uh, one caregiver on day shift to no more than 11, or I'm sorry, on evening shift to no more than 11 residents and one caregiver on night shift to no more than 15. And that is miles from where we are now. There are people sometimes taking care of 15, 20, 25 people on a day shift um, that are totally dependent in a seven and a half hour shift. That's not humanly possible and people deserve so much more. Also in the contract, workers will be better protected if the facility they work at is sold. If a facility is sold or transferred of ownership, um, that they will assume the workers in the contracts for um, a couple of month period, um, which means that workers can uh, bargain from where they are versus having their contracts canceled and being treated like a brand new person. The SEIU says all of this will lead to stabilization in the industry and better care for residents. This should be really high paid, well respected work. And I think we have just uh, won a pathway to that um, for these workers. Well, this is a three year agreement that will expire in the spring of 2025. Kendra Nichols, ABC 27 News.